Hi, this is Aaron Wiedekamp here to introduce the Atomic Registry. This is an authenticated registry. Here I'm logging in with my GitHub credentials. Provides a, a clean UI with flexible storage options. Here we're attached to an S3 bucket on Amazon. Um, so the UI uh, is, uh, you know, modular to display projects, which are like namespaces of the repositories, as well as um, just kind of a view into the images that are stored there. Uh, it also provides um, some reference Docker commands. As I mentioned, it is an authenticated registry. So in order to, um, to interact with Docker, you, you log in with a, with a credential, which you can manage yourself. Um, and then it provides some reference on, on tagging and um, pushing an image. Um, we're going to create a uh, new namespace. I'm going to use my nick here, provide a little bit of metadata. And this is uh, kind of my development environment, so I'm going to allow anyone to pull images from here, but that, that is a configuration option. And so we have um, this namespace here. I'm going to go ahead and create an image. Now I could push an image, but I could also um, pull an image down from um, Docker Hub or, or anywhere, and it basically syncs it down. Um, we're going to pull it down from CentOS uh, repository, and here it creates a, an image, and you see it's remotely inspected all of the metadata and pulled in all the tags so that you can see some information about the image. Um, regarding that, uh, we have uh, an image here that has lots of um, metadata here in the images view. So this, uh, this Atomic Registry Quick Start Guide, uh, I provided labels such as summary and description and, and some help here so that we display those um, so the images aren't such a black box, but there's a, a bit of context for the end user before they go ahead and run the thing. Um, we also have a view into um, what the layers are that this is composed of, so you can actually select um, you know, different layers to see um, the information that's actually being uh, used to build the image from the Docker file. Um, and regarding projects, so we have um, a way to display who is able to uh, administer, push, and, and pull from, the, from all the images. So let's take another um, project here. I am the admin of this project. I mentioned that other people can pull it. What I'm going to do is to add uh, my friend Chris Murphy here so that he can also push and collaborate with me on this namespace. And now he is um, added to that namespace. So uh, we have documentation that uh, we'd love for you to, to check out, quick start guide that you can um, install it yourself using a, a quick container-based installation and uh, give it a try. Give us some feedback and let us know. Thanks.